Our drum flex signal conditioners convert, amplify, filter, and electrically isolate many different signals. Here we'll give a brief walkthrough of the new configuration software for controlling input and output signals on these conditioners. Open the WAGO Interface Configuration Software G2, which is downloadable from our website. Set up the communication settings first. Here we are using our WAGO USB service cable, which happens to be on port 6. In this example, we are using the 2857-401 isolation amplifier. So go to Select, Isolation Amplifiers, find the 2857-401 and its firmer version, and then click on it. Now click Connect. After a connection is made, click on Settings. Here we can change the input signal parameters. We will select Voltage in this case. Click on Analog Output to change those parameters. We are going to keep it as a 0 to 20 milliamp signal for now. On the left, you have the ability to create transfer functions, modify the behavior of digital outputs if available, and add some customer information if desired. After making any changes, make sure you click the Save to Device button. Here you will see the voltage input and the corresponding milliamp output of your device. Up in the menu, Clicking Snapshot allows you to save to a CSV file. Update is where you can update the firmware of your device. Clicking Simulation gives you many options and actions. Change the input and output values here. Measurement Recording allows for up to three different simultaneous recordings. This is a great troubleshooting tool and the recordings may be exported to a file. Connection Diagram shows the wiring of the module you are connected to. Information will provide you with the part number, software, and hardware versions. As you have seen, Wago's configuration software gives you a ton of power in configuring these modules. Contact your local distributor or Wago's tech support to easily assist you.